Welcome to Virginia Poverty Law Center's Know Your Rights Library of Self-Help Materials. For this segment, we're going through how to make sense of an unlawful detainer summons. If you've received a summons like this, it means your landlord is trying to evict you. If you want to go to court and try to fight your eviction, the first thing you need to know is the reason the landlord filed the case in the first place. Usually, it's over unpaid rent, but even if you're behind on rent, your landlord could say there's a different reason they're trying to evict you. All of this is on the summons. This is the paperwork the landlord filled out to get the case started. Don't be intimidated by it, we've just gotta dig in. There are five sections. Where you're leasing, which is where the case is being filed. Who is suing, that's the landlord, known as the plaintiff, and who is being sued, that's you, the tenant, also known as the defendant. Then, under where it says claim and affidavit, there are two check boxes for the landlord. Let's say they check only that first unpaid rent box. They didn't mark the line next to it or make any notes there. That means they're only filing about rent being behind. But if they check the second box and wrote something, that's why you got the summons. If the landlord leaves both boxes blank, when you get to your first hearing, ask the judge to dismiss the case because you don't have the information you need. Knowing why your landlord filed the case is important. This helps you figure out how you can fight the eviction. You'll also find a section for when the hearings are scheduled. And then this last part is usually filled out by the judge, the disposition, meaning how the case was resolved. Remember, this is just general information. This is not case-specific advice. If you need advice about your specific situation, you'll need to talk to an attorney but you may do just fine representing yourself. For more information, contact the Eviction Legal Helpline at 833-NO-EVICT or visit our website at housing.vplc.org for more self-help materials.